I stay in Lagos City here yeah, and it's supposed to be the mega city. I'm so proud to be living in Lagos. But I'm upset with the old segregation. There's the island and there's the mainland and the island is supposed to be the place for the chilling people. I sat down and thought about it one day and I'm like, no, it should be the opposite. Hi, my name is Okra Richard and welcome to my mad city. So people that stay on the island, they like to feel like, yeah, they actually live in the better side of Lagos. And I cannot seem to understand why. Because to me, the way I see the island, it is the wrongest place to be. But the mentality, what everyone thinks is that island is where everybody should stay. The island is close to the water. That means any day, tsunami can happen like the water can just get angry and wash all those big houses away and um to make the whole situation worse they keep pouring sand i don't know who comes up with that idea though pouring sand inside water pushing the water to one side and god created land he created water to be separate then we with our little wisdom decide that land should extend to water I know you, you probably stay on the island and you're chilling like, yeah, yeah, I'm the place. But anytime, it could happen and water will wash your house away. And I won't feel bad for you because, I mean, it's common sense. It should happen. It's nature. You shouldn't be able to cheat nature. And there was this time, really funny story here. Yeah. There was this time, the people in the island that you see, like, yeah, they're chilling and boiling. We're actually living on shit water. I mean, they were bathing with shit water, they were drinking shit water. You know, when you stay on the island, you are, you are close to the water, so the water bed is really high. So, there's the underground tank and there's the soccer way. Then the water from the soccer way now goes to the underground tank. Then you go to your house and pump the water inside your house like a boss. And you now use that water to brush your teeth and take your baths and you know do whatever you do with water and you know how disgusting and irritating that can be these are the people who stay on the island and they are supposed to be better than the people on the mainland and again there's the um oh um everything is exp everything has to be expensive the cab the biscuits the drinks everything is double there because it's the island and i really sit down hard to think I wonder why as in how come what is the reason because of the water i can't still you know i can't get it i can't relate with it but nobody sees it that way i don't know why just me everybody's like yeah island we're boiling we're close to the water i don't know we enjoy cool breeze and um, cool breeze that comes with a lot of mosquito uh, chilling and everything so i don't understand why nobody's seen it because the whole concept of the island being high class is totally unreasonable. I don't get it. Then, um, this is Nigeria here. The sun is really crazy, but the rain could be wicked too. So anytime it rains, the water, as in the water gets angry, the roads, the houses, things happen. Houses would collapse. There will be um, roadblocks everywhere, zero movement where these high class people are and they are supposed to be seen as you know the big people i'm not i'm not just hating i'm not just angry with them that they are chilling but because i've stayed there i've seen how it is and there's really no point aside from the fact that people might look at you like you are rich and um, there are rich people everywhere it doesn't matter where you stay <laughs> so um i don't get it to me mainland is here and island is like you know invisible i can't see it so um, i hope you understood my points i hope i was able to make you understand that i'm just hating i was making you understand why i don't see what you see i just see what i see and it is what i think so you could tell me your own opinion you know subscribe to our youtube channel holler at me with your comments and everything my name is okra richard this is emma you can leave my mask you now.